Hi guys, and uh, we're back again now. We have science, and today in science we'll be discussing about reuse and recycle. Now, what is uh, reuse? How what comes to your mind when you hear the word reuse? Uh, reuse simply means the practice of using an item or an object to fulfill uh, maybe a different purpose. Um, for example, when you have, uh, let's say, a bottle of uh, jam, for example, and then when the jam is finished, when you're, f you're done using the jam for your bread or whatever, you can still reuse the bottle of jam, maybe uh, for, for storing something else in the house, or maybe for putting flowers and just decorating the house. So reuse is a practice of using uh, an object or an item uh, for something else after you've used it for its original purpose. You can still use it for something else. And then recycling simply means the process of uh, converting waste materials into new materials and objects. So for example, if you have uh, maybe used papers or used wood um, and they're no longer really in good term, you can recycle them and maybe make out new objects or new materials from them, okay? So that's it for reuse and recycling. We've talked about objects and materials in the previous week. So today we're gonna to be looking at the different objects that may be reused or recycled. And for us to get that done, I would like you to go to uh, turn to your workbook on page 308 in the green pages. So you find that in the green uh, pages. Page 308 in your workbook and uh, you write the date of course the date is uh, monday january 25 2021 monday january 25 2021 now as usual let's read and find out what the book has to tell us uh we start with the big black words reuse and recycle reuse and recycle the first dot says, many objects may be reused or recycled. Many objects may be reused or recycled. So we have lots of objects that we might uh, reuse and recycle. Now, the second thing we're going to be doing today is how to sort objects for recycling by the materials they are made uh, from. Let's read, it says, we sort objects for recycling by the materials they are made from. So I don't think this is gonna really be a difficult one for you to do based on the fact that we've learned so much about objects and materials. So we know uh, we've uh, learned about different objects and different materials that they're made from. So we're just gonna be sorting the pictures we have in the book based on the materials they are made from. So you can see that we have four recycling boxes. One is for the objects made out of paper. The other one is for the objects made out of aluminum. This is the for, for the objects made out of glass. And this last one is for the objects made out of plastic. All right, so what we're gonna be doing here is we're going to be writing down the alphabet, uh, the letter, sorry, um, the letter that talks about the picture under the appropriate box. So for example, you have A, and this is a tin of tomato, I guess. So this is a tin. Uh, what is this object made from? It's made from aluminum. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take letter A, and I go to the box where I have aluminum and I write it down on the line A. All right, I write down A, which tells me that I'm going to sort, I'm going to put this uh, thing into the box, the recycling box for aluminum. Because you know, you don't have to take, you don't have to mix up the objects when it comes to recycling. It has to be sorted out into different groups based on the materials they are made of. So I cannot take a thing 
and put it in the recycling box for plastic. It doesn't work like that. So all um, objects has to be sorted out according to the materials they are made from. So like I said, you have A, which is a thing of tomato or whatever, and it is made out of aluminium. You have B, which is a bottle of jam. And we all know that jams are made from glass. Okay, so I'm gonna look for the glass box and I'll write down the letter B. So we're gonna do the first row together and then you sort out the second and third row by yourself, okay? And then see, I have a gallon of uh, juice. So we know that a gallon of, is, of juice is made out of plastic, like you can see in number B. Letter C. So I'm gonna take letter C and I'll go to where do we have plastic and I'll write it here. So A, aluminium, is, goes to the aluminium box. B, jam, goes to the glass box. C, plastic, uh, uh, a can of juice goes to the plastic. And D is also a can of soda. So D also goes to aluminium. So that's the same way you're gonna continue with the other ones. And then when you're done with your work, you send it to me or you upload it on Class Dojo. Thank you guys and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye.